Welcome back everyone. So this week's review was going to be Iris Covenant, but I kind of screwed the pooch hard when gathering footage for it. So we have Alice in Cradle, a Metroidvania style platformer. Now originally I was going to do the censored version because they offered it, but the censoring was about as useful as a screen door on a submarine. So let's dive right in. So you play as a girl named Noelle, a young witch's apprentice, and you basically go on adventures. That's pretty much it. The game is still in its very early access form. As for presentation, I'm really digging it. The graphics look neat, pixel art is really, really solid, and Noel herself is greatly drawn. And that's great. Now for the gameplay. There are some core gripes I have with it. The core mechanics themselves are okay. The controls are good and responsive for the most part. Um, but people can be a bit iffy that up is jump, which may fuck with some people a bit. The reason why I mention jumping is because the platforming in this game can and will be unforgiving, but we'll get to that later. Now the second half of the game, the combat, this needs some slight tweaking, specifically with the magic, because it's one of the core mechanics of the game. The way how you currently choose magic is you hold down the magic key and press whatever corresponding arrow key there is. So rides for explosives, or just it by itself, use an arrow, etc, etc, which which you control the time on. However, this mitigates it a bit because a good amount of the battles can be fast paced, and especially when you have enemies like the mushrooms or the speedy fuckers, you are really, really fucked unless you find a way to rapid fire. Actually, yeah, add a rapid fire button, or a single shot button, whatever. However, if you do run out of MP, which trust me, you will, you can always rely on melee attacks. You have a pretty weak swing, and then later on you basically get what's the equivalent of a damn homing attack. Like, legit. Just keep abusing the hell out of that until you get your MP back, and then you finish it off with an explosive, a bomb, or an arrow. Those are the only current three spells that I'm aware of that are currently available in this build. It's a bit on the slower side because, once again, if you're dealing with these speedy fuckers which can and will fuck you over, you're essentially fucked. Now for my biggest gripe about this game. Specifically, it's the stage hazards. Specifically, it's the tentacle wall. These tentacle walls can go straight to hell for all I care. It's not really the walls themselves that I have a problem with, it's the fucking placement and the amount there is for fuck's sake, ease up on this. Like, Jesus Christ, like, do you really need this many tentacle walls? Because of my jump, which basically makes me feel like I'm on the fucking moon or I've jumped way too high, I'm basically going on a one-stop trip to it. Please, ease up on this. Up overall, this game, this game is, I'd wait for it to be a little bit more better. Like, you can't even watch cutscenes. And honestly, if they just ease up on the stage hazards and level design and nerf a few enemies, then this game would be a really great game. It has a lot of potential for it. So this week's shoutout goes to Zetria. The game is available on Steam right now and I'll happily link it in the description below. So until then everyone, good night and good luck.